evening at the Western Grand Hotel in Bangkok, an elegant evening that's a dinner and a celebration of education. It's the special night of nights for the Australian Alumni Association, a night of awards and a recognition of the benefits of a tertiary education in Australia. The Australian Chamber of Commerce Alumni Awards are an opportunity to promote Australia as an international education centre for Thai students with award winners paving the way for the future success of younger alumni members. We've been very pleased to support the fantastic effort that the Chamber of Commerce, the Australian Thailand Chamber of Commerce does to support the alumni uh, here in Thailand. Uh, it's very important for the Embassy to be able to support the Chamber in that effort. It's a great effort and we're very, very pleased to be supporting them tonight. Do the alumni feel that they themselves are benefiting when they receive this award? Basically, I, I think the reason we're setting this whole thing up is just to inspire and set an example for the young alumni to see how the older alumni have achieved so much and we just encourage them to come and join the alumni committee, I mean the alumni, you know, members in Austrian to participate with us in the future. One of the evening's speakers was Kumprom Sirisan. Getting education in Australia was great, not only because of great schools, great academics, but it also teaches you about life. And with a society that is you know, down to earth, multicultural, hardworking, it gives you the absolute right mix of lifelong lessons. So now, as an employer in a financial firm, I don't look at candidates only with great education and academics, but I also look for candidates who are well-rounded about life experience and someone who has a great mindset on how they see the world. So I am confident that Australia as a nation is an excellent teacher for any individual who wants to learn about life. The Young Alumni Community Engagement Award was presented to Kun Roy Sai Wong Suban, the Senior Advocacy Coordinator at the International Rescue Committee. The award recognises their exceptional community service and passion to help refugees, migrant workers and displaced people from Myanmar who live in Thailand due to economic or political reasons. My first uh, three months of tough experience to adjust myself to Australian education. I was not fluent in English and I had a lot of good support that helped me learn how, how assistance from stranger can change your life. Later in the evening, she highlights just how vital the support she offers is. Well, there are about 2 million Myanmar people now live in Thailand uh, just to have a better life here. And we are trying to work to address on the issue of human rights, uh, protections, and also to raise dignity of the displaced community. The Alumni Leadership Award was accepted on behalf of Australian native Dr Peter Morley, who was not able to attend the event for his dedicated work in healthcare along the Thai-Myanmar border and his self-funded charity work. The Alumni Entrepreneurial Award was presented to Kun Chakapan Manuk Satit for his innovative initiatives in technological efficiency and work in sustainability CSR projects. Our reporter Rod McNeil caught up with the winner after the ceremony. Being an entrepreneur is got to mix the education, experience, and then you know, into in your, your 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 gut feelings, you know, in order to make it a success. A success. Mm. Yeah. So it's not only a pure academics, but I think the academic also have a has a, a great contribution to whatever decision you make in the business. Was going to Australia a good move for you? Yeah, it's definitely a very good move. You know, it's one of the, uh, the, the time in my life which I have learned a lot. The Alumni of the Year Award was presented to a man who is renowned for his groundbreaking work in the health benefits of active ingredients in mangosteens, modulating body immunity and tackling health issues ranging from skin care to HIV and cancer. Even though you um, did much of your study, significant study in Australia, mm -hmm. of course you wouldn't have come across the mango scene in Australia. No. We don't have it there, do we? Surprisingly, I heard about 
mango seed ingredients in my uh, heterocyclic chemistry class in the year 1968. Where were you? Professor Jack Cannon in the University of Western Australia. Is that so? Yeah. And when I came back to Thailand, the mango seed food house is a waste on the side of the street. And the uh, folklore had it that uh, it can be used as medicine by rubbing with lime solution and that we, we use, can be used for wound healing. And when you boil it water, and will help you remedy diarrhea. And our research started from there. So there are examples across culture, across medicine, across industry that reflect how Thai students in Australia can return to Thailand, use their education experience, use what they have learnt to deliver genuine change, genuine development and real progress for Thailand. But not just for Thailand, for the Australia-Thailand relationship. So that is why this evening is so important. That is why it's so wonderful that Ostcham does this. That's so why great that the Australian Embassy is able to support this in order to be able to say thank you in order to be able to recognise your achievements. So thank you and I wish you all very, very well. Thank you very much.